guys to my channel. My name is Jems, and today I am greeted with my sister, Angel. And we are finally live! So if you guys are on YouTube watching this, you can go to the Trench the Community. Uh, there's a page and a group right now. We're on live on the page because the group isn't allowing me to go live. So if you follow, like the page, and also join the group, you will also be notified of any live streams that we do that you can take part in. But yeah, today we're going to be doing live feeding. So if I'm responding to any comments, that's because it is on Facebook. So just so you know. So, <laughs> how do you feel about this? <laughs> She's with me. Last time she only showed about the ending um, of this live stream last time, so now she's gonna be here for the entire thing. Yeah. And also look at, look, we got, we got new things. You move yourself, there you go. There you go, got new things here. <laughs> it's gonna be so exciting because you got so many new things that we wanna talk about and also showcase to you as well and just before this live stream actually last night which i posted some pictures of on the group and stuff like that my brazilian whitening molted which was a, a surprise honestly i mean she did have a big butt a big abdomen but i thought it was good to go at least maybe a week to molt and so i thought it'd be okay i wasn't gonna feed her this time because i knew that she had a big butt and she might be in pre molt so i i don't have to feed her anyway because she's just molted so we're gonna be very careful with her today i don't know if anyone else is molted um but I think the uh, ivy, which we've called ivy, is the <laughs> the stubborn curly hair that we have yeah. as a sling. I think um, that one's not eating because l uh, uh, last week I tried to feed it and it just wouldn't eat. Um, so and it does have a big butt as well, so we might not be feeding that one. But we do have all these guys to feed, and we're feeding these guys to feed. So you guys, um, if you have been in the group for a while or active on there at all, you would have seen a um, clip of me actually feeding my lizard. It was insane. It was actually for the first time that my lizard felt comfortable enough to take food from my tongs instead of from a bowl. And it was just, it was amazing. Yeah. So yeah, here you go guys. I'll show you a, a closer look. Here you go. So this is my lizard setup. He's a pretty small one, so, you know, doesn't need much room. But we spoil him a little bit much with getting him a tree. <laughs> but here you go. He is so adorable. So we are going to be feeding this little guy today. And oh my god, I cannot wait. He's a lot more... <laughs> I was going to say he's a lot more calmer now, but that... Okay. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> he's a lot more calmer than what he usually is. Because when we first got him, he was very skittish and just hid away most of the time. But now he's out all the time and he's super happy about it. So yeah. we see him a lot more often. Um, I could put my finger in there. He doesn't bite or anything like that. He's not aggressive. He just, he just sniffs and then walks away. <laughs> But yeah, it's really awesome. <laughs> yeah, we got a frog in here as well. This is not his permanent setup, by the way. We just got this because it was better than the what we already had him in there. Um, but we got this him. He has burrowed a burrow down here as well. So we wanted this to be on the opposite side of the lighting. So he gets the benefit from the light as well as well as the lizard. And the uh, trenches are behind it. So they're getting a little bit of heat, but they're not... Um, being struck with the light so there should be fine but yeah this is not his permanent enclosure and we're also thinking about uh, a, he's got his pool down there but we need to figure out a better system for that but yeah he's, he's yeah. down there bigger, um, yeah pool. yeah so we're thinking about maybe dividing this up into two having one side like a little like, pool area and the other like land so we'll figure out what to do there but yeah so they're both eating in our care and it's been super awesome caring for them. Like, they're incredible. And also, all these guys. So, if you see her, she looks so much bigger. I'm like almost certain this is a female. And this is just because of the, um, what are they called? The two white things, well, what was it? Three, four things? The four white things by the part areas where you can tell if it's male or female, they're very pigmented and out there. I'm not entirely sure if that's because of the breed, what breed, <laughs> species, but um, it was very primitive, so I kind of have a feeling this could be a female, just because of that, so we shall have to see. But also, another big update, I actually got a new tarantula, <laughs> and so I, I've been wanting it for a while, it was one of the tarantulas I was going to get on my list next. And so, it's been a sling, but it's a dwarf pink leg, and I'm super excited to have it. 
So I got this little guy from the Tea World. You might not even see it, but it's in here somewhere. So a dwarfing like a semi like fossil. I, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce those things correctly, but it's sort of like a tetras. <laughs> I can't pronounce. Basically, it goes on land and it also goes in the ground. I'm so bad at pronunciation things, but it's somewhere around here. So it doesn't usually burrow. Oh, it actually, is right down there. By the looks of things, maybe? I cannot tell what it is, but it's still right there. Oh, wait, actually, it's right there. <laughs> it's right where my finger is. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. The phone does not want to focus this tool. Lovely, but it's, it's actually there. It's just very tiny. So, yeah, it's just very small. Yeah. And also, this is my Trinidad of Tiger. I was kind of concerned about this one because, um, it molted on top of its food, at least that's what I think it did, because I found its molt when I was taking out the dead prey, and so I grabbed the molt while well, the food had the molt on top. I'm thinking that I took out the tarantula, like my tarantula, this one is super, super tiny, I'm like talking like tiny. I got this from bottom tarantula, but this one is like super tiny. So when it molted, I thought, oh my god, I just killed my tarantula. No, thank god it, I didn't. <laughs> it was just the molt of the tarantula. So I looked in here to make sure it was okay, and it had like really pale legs, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave it alone, make sure it's okay and everything, I didn't know it was molting, and I actually saw it last night, and it looks so good, it's it's much bigger now, and it, it has, uh, it has those golden legs again, a golden butt, it looks so nice, so, I know this, uh, this one's definitely ready for food, because it's been out and about last night looking for stuff, so we're gonna be feeding that one, and yeah, there's so much stuff we can do. Um, this one molted um, about two weeks ago. I'm going to be feeding it. This is the curly hair called Forest. And there's an, actually, there's, I was about to say there's nothing in the world. In that one, there's that one, there's nothing in. But there is a pumpkin patch in here somewhere that we're also going to be feeding as well. And then in here is Ivy. Now, Ivy is the most complicated curly hair I've ever met in my entire life. We have one already, and she is a sweetheart. But this one is so stubborn. So, with all my other tarantulas, they have never made mold, okay? They have never right down to the bottom of the mold. For some reason, this tarantula brings so much mold into the enclosure. After we, I take all the stuff out again and redo it. So, I put this one into here. It's not a small, small sling. It's actually a pretty decent big one. So, um, it's just under here, so I lifted this up, and it's actually just under here. I think this is the one that's probably not going to eat, so I don't think I'm going to feed this one. So, I think we're going to leave that one safe. But we do have about one, two, three, four, five, six feedings to do in this video. Oh, I my Oh, and I got my You sound like you got hiccups. <laughs> probably. I think it's just because I was drinking a lot of water before, so, so, oh, that's a damn shame. For some reason, on the group, it wouldn't let me, like, live stream for some reason, which really sucked because I always live stream on the group, so most people would obviously go to the group to find me, um, so yeah, most people might not do it in live stream, so I don't know about it, because usually it's in the group, so, it's okay, help, we will still upload this live stream too. The YouTube channel that you have, like, yes, we have the YouTube channel right now. It's called Cornish Gems. Uh, I hope you guys are there, so make sure to do that as well. Yeah, this is one of my cats. This is what my cat is doing. So, I got this new plant. Oh, yeah, I forgot to take this off. 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 I being literally on top of another plant. He's, there's another plant under here. You can find you. Yeah? But yeah, that's my cat. That's the storyline of my cat. <laughs> so I got this um, because I'm thinking that when the leaves eventually go brown and they start dying, I could just chop them off and then place them into my tarantula enclosures for like decor and stuff like that. That's kind of what I was thinking about. But yeah, also, we should probably get into the feeding freezer because they've been waiting a while. So, I'm going to feed those guys. So, I now have got millworms to be able to feed my trenches. Well, not my trenches, but I can feed them these as well if I want to. But I'm going to feed my lizard in front of these. So, these are uh, millworms, and I've been giving them. 
no worries because people said that was fine. So I'm going to be taking two of these and I'm going to be giving them to my lizard. You want to put down yours? I have two more. Oh goodness, you have so many. <laughs> yeah, this is my newest one. I need the grass later. You can't come to the size, but he's very cute. He's on the rock. Oh, yeah, I see him. Yeah, he's very cute. He might be a grass spider. Oh, Actually, he can't come to the size, so I can really delete from this. Oh, there you go. You can probably see him a bit more better. Maybe. He's right there. Mm -hmm. It's hard to focus cute. for this camera for some reason. This one's probably going to be the easiest one to see because he can't come up the side. Oh, yeah, maybe. But yeah, um, I think we'll get into feeding the lizard and frog now, yeah? I need to get my own spider. Okie dokie, you go do that. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right, I'm just going to get my iPad real quick because uh, whenever I live stream, the phone doesn't always show me all the comments, so I'm sorry if I'm not seeing the comments. Be careful, I don't want you hurting yourself. <laughs> He's got it, there you go. <laughs> yeah, that's so cool. There you go, he nibbling on it. He almost like ingests the entire thing. Look at that. Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. I knew he was gonna be hungry. Look at him eat. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. So incredible. Also, sorry for any interference, guys. Uh, apparently, this stream might be lagging a bit, which is unfortunate. Um, I don't know if that's an internet connection wise, or Facebook wise, or phone wise, but we'll just have to roll with it as it goes, really. But there you go, you can see him eat it. That's so cool though. 
That was amazing. I'm glad he's eating better. Yes. Yeah, definitely glad on that. Yeah, it was also really cool. Yeah, he, he was eating the leaves that we got him. And then over some time, I started putting more ones on his bowls. And he ate those. And then I tried to tongue feed him and it worked. Which is great. Mm -hmm. uh, you want one more? So we feed my lizard about two to three of these a day. Not a day. <laughs> per week. Well, actually, no, every two days, I think. <laughs> no, take the other end. Take the other end. Thank you. There you go. You got me. You got me. You got me. You got me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> he grabbed the tongues. There you go, man. Enjoy. Oh, he's like a little monster. <laughs> That's so cool. Try not to get too close to the heat because the phone might just power off because of that. So there you guys go. It's awesome that he's eating. That's so cool. Yeah. Just nibbling it away. <laughs> There we go. So what we do with them um, is we give them leaves one day and then the next day get them mealworms and then the next day get them leaves and then the next day get them mealworms. Just so they're not always eating mealworms so they don't get fat. Yeah, and they also have protein as well from the leaves. And it down like that. There you go. You see his little tail now. He looks like he can eat another. Yeah, he is a hungry boy. Definitely. He's always a hungry little boy. I'll feed him one more for today, and that'll have to be it. Alright, here we go. This is the last one for him. Oh, I just dropped it on the floor. <laughs> okay, here we go. I got it. Do you want this? Do you want this? You might not want it. Oh, there we go, there we go. <laughs> he got it. Oh, goodness. <laughs> He's attacking. <laughs> Alright, he's hidden in the corners. You want to get in above you? Up in there? Because his head's out of the top. Well, it was at least a bit. Tiny bit, maybe. <laughs> yeah, tiny bit. Yeah. But there you go guys, that's the feeding of our lizard. That's our new lizard that we have had for quite a while now actually. But there we go. He's hiding. <laughs> yeah. He's so cute. Nibbling on a good bit of food. Oh, he's reversing. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Alright, I think we'll now focus on the frog. This is going to be awesome. awesome to do. So we also feed the stand ones as well. I'm going to just get the dandy little bowls that we have. So these are the bowls that we have from the Tea World. They're about two pounds for these ones. And they're really, really nice. And I love them. So yeah, our frog and this would eat out of these. Because usually not all the time I tongue feed him. But I tongue feed him just for today so you guys can see it. But uh, yeah, these bowls are really, really nice. And you can use them for water dishes, but I only got two for food bowls, so we're going to be using them. So if you want to show them here, I uh, will be filling um, it up with two mealworms. Oh, it's open. <laughs> you can see the stream here. <laughs> dun, dun. I am so sorry. Jeez. My poor spiders. <laughs> Opening this up. I just opened it like a second ago. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Opening this up, I'm just going to put two into the bowl. I might actually put three. 
What's for today? So, on tips on how to care for these guys, um, so basically what I do and I've been told to do is uh, put them in a container like this as their mealworms and then just put some piece of uh, egg cartons in. Add any kind of fruit that hopefully doesn't mold badly and um, you can kind of go with it. Um, someone said use uh, bug feed. I can't remember what they exactly said, but use like this kind of stuff. Not um, oats because the oats kind of leave like a, a mess, they said. So I've just been trying to guide through what everyone's been trying to teach me about these guys because this is also my first time breeding these guys. So thank you to everyone who's tried to support my small brain on how to do this. He's going for a power nap now? Yeah. Um, have you decided a name for your frog yet? Um, my dad picked one out. I think it was Marbles. Marble. Marble. Yeah, my dad picked that name out, but we're not sure if we're going for that one. But we might actually end up going with that at the end. But here we are. These are for, I guess, Marble. I guess we can call them. So we can go over here. And this frog is very, very kind. It's not harmful at all. It doesn't attack or anything of the sort like that. So very, very sweet like that. But he's in the way of the small areas, so I can't actually get to there. So I'm going to do is put this. Dogs barking. But there you go, they're in the corner. And he will eventually find them himself and he'll eat them because we've seen him eat them out of the bowl before. So we know he can do he can do that. And apologies for the dog barking in the background. She probably saw a cat. <laughs> but there you go. We most likely won't see him eat on camera unfortunately. But yeah, he takes his time to eat. He's so cute though. Yeah. My goodness, Leva. He was barking so much. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure why. I think someone might be at the door. We might have mail deliveries. Let's see, here we go. Right, there you go. That's the little frog, though. Tiny little frog. Well, not that tiny, but small <laughs> compared to the other ones. Yeah. Not like a toad. Not yeah. A toad. There you go. Hope you guys enjoyed those things. Now we can actually get onto the chances and spiders, which is going to be insane. Do you want to show me real quick? Also, by the way, for the first time, I saw this guy poop my lizard, and it was so weird. <laughs> His like insides came out to push out a piece, and it was just like it was really insane to see. But yeah, there you go, there you go. He's right there. He's so cute. Amazing. But there you guys go. They're awesome, awesome things. So yeah, yeah. you want to get this one? He might. Oh, he might push him back. It's awesome to see him eat. Yeah. Because of how small he is, he doesn't eat rodents or anything like that, or other big things, or other live things such as. He just rode his head against <laughs> Yeah. We wanted to get him a water dish that has like a hard surface like a rock. So he would be able to shed easier when he's near the water. Look at him. Am I going to his water? Oh! Okay, so he never goes into a British fully. He never does that. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. So every time he's near his water, he never goes into it completely like that. Oh, that was awesome. He really looks like a long tail. <laughs> he has a long tail. I'm not sure if the species drops their tail or anything like that, but he has a long tail. Actually, I'm pretty sure the species does drop their tail. He does rub it up against everything. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you want to get into the trenches now? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so here we are. We're going to put yours to the side for a moment. I'm going to do spiders first and then do the best for us, the trenches. I mean, if you want to, we can do. Yeah, we can do that little first. I will have to get my tongs. Well, not my tongs. I'll have to get my uh, red runners for a second. Yeah. I don't use crickets anymore. I use red runners because they're easier. You can just open the sky. Thank you. Why I think that he might be a grass spider if it was perfect. 
Yeah. It's very fast. Well, the best bodies are very fast, but generally, they are very fast things. Yeah, you also have a bit of dirt, but I think you can see that. He has done a few web things that it could be so nice and nice. It's a few I don't know if it will take a whole one, but it will not kill one. Mm. We shall see. So this will probably be his first time having a red one. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try and cut up this a bit. You can cut him off. I'm just bit. Yeah, but he is very bully. Yeah. You good? Just, yeah, he's very bolty. No, I just, I knocked him down by mistake. Uh, yeah. Even if you come near him, he would just bolt. You don't want the food? I guess we could just leave the food in there. He's yeah, we'll find find it. It later. He's trying to climb, but he can't. He has the option to eat if he wants to. Why you... Barking at the neighbor's cat. <laughs> yeah, she probably is. Animals. It's alright, just leave it, it'll continue. Unfortunately, we're experiencing lag. It sucks, but oh well. Hopefully, guys, it doesn't ruin your experience. But yeah, I think that one's done. I don't think that one's gonna eat for us. Yeah, probably. But it may not. eat later on, so. There we go. That one's over there. And just like just another spider. Yeah. The one I want? Oh. The one you hate, the one that bolts a lot. Oh, why? <laughs> I hate this one. You gotta feed this one as well. Oh, I hate this one so much. <laughs> this one's so annoying. It's so bolty. Let's see, where is it? Ah, it's up there. See it? It's right up there. Very bolty. Very cute though. But the lights just chill out at the top of it. Bolts like, yeah. I needed two tongues, but I've only got one right now, so I'm going to use one hand to do it. Uh, any comments? Um, interruptions are really bad. Oh, that sucks. Sorry, guys. We really apologize for that. There's not much we can do though. <laughs> There's not much we can do about the interference, unfortunately, because it's actually, I don't know if it's the Wi-Fi or anything of the sort like that, but uh, yeah, it's just really bad for some reason. Hopefully, when I upload it to YouTube, it should be a lot more easier to watch. But I've just grabbed the leg, so hopefully the leg might do. This guy. Might, might be small. Yeah. I just don't want this guy bolting out, man. <laughs> so tiny as well, you'll never find him again. Right, man. So tiny, I just don't want these. Why do you have to keep small ones? Because they keep tiny, I want to see them grow up. So what they do. Can I grab one of your legs, please? Like, really? <laughs> like a big part of your leg. Yeah, I don't know what small legs. I'm not sure I'm just going to do. Can I have a big one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> open it up. Open it up. <laughs> This is so annoying. Well, that's why he's cute though. And he's going down. Yeah, unfortunately with these containers, we have to unscrew them to then, you know, open them. Which makes them fall down if they're at the top. Okay, I'm just going to throw this in because I hate this one. Why? Is it cute? There you go. It's in its webbing. It should be able to find it on its own. Because of how, like, annoying it is. Because I always see how it's hard. <laughs> see? You see? Alright, mm. you done. You can have your food whenever you find it. 
he's trying to attack the red one that sprays it. It's still on the ground. Right on the ground. It's got it's made a webbing with a molders. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Okay. I could probably just give it the rest of this, honestly. Yeah, it'll need it. I'll need it. Open it. Oh, I'm so. Open it. It would be a good one. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Okay, I can see it. There we go. I put it there. It's gone into its burrow. It's there. And yeah, this one definitely needs a rehouse, so we will be doing that in the future. Don't worry. Yeah. It is gone somewhere. It has a burrow right here somewhere. It's right back here. Yeah, it's got a burrow somewhere here. It must have went down there. I know it did because it went down there. So, I guess we will see how that one goes with the food. There we go. It's got two legs going around like crazy. <laughs> that, that one's done. No, you just do. You should do that with the butts. Like, I should have to try to just in case I hold it. Yeah, I mean, obviously you feed them anyway, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, you should do that. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to do that one. Let me go fetch your runner. It doesn't mean it's so much wood in. They even see some of the wood in. See some of the wood in the ground. There's like white bits. That's the wood in. Literally just so much wood in. Oh, there you go. Like some spider. Yeah, close it. Alright, here we go. Two of his legs came off of me. No, it's moving around. I think you can feel the movement. It just turned it around. Some of us get scared of these guys. Damn. Let's just run around a little bit right now. Please do the little guy not come out. I... Normally, you, you know, when they say the one's face, sometimes you don't run around. Or sometimes you just stay still and get all scared. I'm 
I'm not really concerned about this one bolting out because this one never bolts on me. It just never, never bolts for some reason. Just wait until it does now. Like, <laughs> it might be like jinx or something like that. Yeah. There you go. That is the Brazilian red and white. It's got a leg right next to it. There you go. So, hopefully it eats, but there we go. That's it. It's so, so cute. That is amazing. There. So, <laughs> the lighting is always so tricky in this room. Especially when it's late. So cute, though. There we go. This one never bolts or anything, so I'm very grateful that this one doesn't bolt. And I hope it just end up molting and then turning into a freaking dragon. Or a monster or a beast or something like that that bolts the crazy. There we go. Dragons bolt. They stand their ground. Exactly. <laughs> so, um, we got that one next to this. There's a one over there. Next to So, this is my new one, my dwarf pink leg. I love this one so much. Obviously, we're just going to be putting a leg in there, nothing special. Um, so, we've got to see where it is first before I open it. And it's at the very bottom of pink. I'm not kidding. It's very small. Oh no, it's, it's just on the side. Okay. This one ain't very bold either, but I think I don't want to use it here. Yeah, I don't like it. This is just ribbon leg, so nothing special. There you go, and it'll find it in its own time. It goes up and stuff. There you go. It's on the side. I know it'll be very hard to see, but it's definitely on the side where the writing is. But it is so beautiful. Yeah, it's very hard to see. Maybe I'll put this closer to it. Oh, there's actually webbing there. I just realized there are actual webbings. Oh, that's where I'm gonna find. There are webbings. Oh, it's coming up. Maybe you want the food? Well, it's in its webbing now, so I see it eats. We shall have to see, but I'm going to put this on just in case, don't want any bulkies. When I was dealing with this one, though, it was very, very nice. It didn't bulk at all half the time. Uh, maybe my CD, maybe we don't, but um, it was definitely interested. But there we go, my CD eat later on, I guess. But that one is now done. I've now fed that one. A leg. Nice. Now time to do my turn down of tiger. Unfortunately, I do not know um, most of the scientific names for all of these guys. So you're going to get um, common names for all of these guys, unfortunately. So if you don't know the common names, I'm sorry. Um, we'll have to just search up the common name and then figure out the scientific name of it. Hold on, my cat is trying to be a nut. Ooh. No. <laughs> decided to jump on my laptop. Lovely. <laughs> right, uh, now time to get another leg. I need to grab my coins. That white one looks so good. <laughs> so pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, this is how, how I do it without two tongues, so I just kind of trap them between my hands and then kill them. Here you go. Now I'm going to take its leg because obviously my little tiger is way too small to take a big one. I whip off its leg, there we go, I've got a leg. Now I'll open this up. So this tarantula is a fossil tarantula, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, so they basically live in um, the dirt. There is a small house spider waiting in my porch for you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe next time we come over, we can take it. Actually, I gotta open the enclosure first. So this one is a very bolty one, but I don't expect it to bolt out of its height unless I really just it. So hopefully, no bolties today. So its height is basically down, right down there, as you can see, like an opening. So I'm just gonna put it near there. I can grab the tongue, grab, grab the leg. Okay, I'm just gonna put it. Oh, 
くのかそれか。えー、ゆうがおって。<笑> Come on! Down. There we go, right outside the entrance. That's great. So when it comes up, it can immediately have the food and enjoy it all at once. Wow, the camera does not want to focus at all. Sorry, guys. If it when it gets closer. Oh, there you go. If it focuses when it gets closer, the focus on this camera is so weird. But there we go. That one's done. We probably won't see this one. But if you're following the page or you're in the group or something like that, or my, you're following my Instagram, which is Cornish Gems,、um, you can see loads of pictures of this tarantula that I'm able to capture. But I want to take a quick look at this tarantula real quick. It just molted, so I'm not going to do too much. I'm not going to take the lid off or anything like that, but I just want to admire her. But look how big she is. Like, look at how big. Oh, the camera won't focus, but. Look how big she is. Like, honestly. Like, that is so cool. She's so big. Like, can you believe that? One more, and she's so big. Oh my goodness. So, her m o l e is in the with her. I haven't taken that out yet because、like, I'm still waiting for her to recover.、Um, I will try and see if I can s e x her m o l e but I don't know if it's possible at her. Size to be able to fully tell, but、um, we will see in the future whether or not it's a male or female. But I'm kind of thinking female in my theory. But yeah, we shall have to see in a future video date. So I'm going to come back now. I do not want to just come back to the pool. I'm sorry. There you go. You should be okay now. There you go. Back up there. Alright, so we're gonna go feed the curly hair now, which is right next to her. Little forest. This is our most calmest curly hair. To an angel. Yeah, and we're gonna be feeding her this big roach right here. This one. Because she has just molted, so she is bigger and she is ready to be fed. She's like a beast. There we go. Here, focus now. There we go. Oh, she's back up.、Oops. I almost dropped my tongs then. I don't even know what the hell was that. I'm going to put them down right here because I have blocked the other versions by mistake. Because this one is blocked off by this stuff, so. We can get this one to feed on camera. You can just like it. You would get a close shot of it. There you go. Hopefully, she'll notice it, maybe. She needs to turn around first. Oh, okay. I'm just blurring. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I'm trying to make it pretty good. Maybe I do that. Didn't do much. <laughs> Sorry, guys, for the blurry camera. Usually, it's not this bad. Oh, she's turning, turning around. around. Drinks. <laughs> But we can get it to focus. There you go. It just does not want to focus on anything at all, unfortunately. But there you go. Got it from a view distance. <laughs> Hopefully, we see her eat, maybe? Most likely. Hopefully. I'm like 99% sure this one would eat. Yeah. Maybe if I poke the food a bit more. She's a really good eater. She is a really, really good eater. Oh, no, you're going the opposite direction of the food? Okay, I guess she doesn't want to eat. Um. Leave them there for her. I, she bolted very,、uh, she bolted about like two weeks ago. 
So if she doesn't want to eat, I guess she doesn't want to eat, but um, we will leave that in there just in case. Because obviously we don't want to starve a to us. Um, so there we go. Let's we'll see how that goes for her. Yep, now we gotta grab the pumpkin patch. Oh, the pumpkin patch. <laughs> yeah, so we decided to name my pumpkin patch Nemo, which is an interesting name. I'm sorry, the uh, white knee. I need to move it. So we're gonna put you down there. I'm trying to do this so carefully. Actually, let me replace the lid. Well, we locate it to this different sides. To do that. Be easy to grab then. Have we gotten the food yet? Oh, it has! It has! It has! It got the food. Oh, I knew it was gonna eat. But there you go. It's got the food. Oh, that's wow. So cute. I know it was gonna eat. It's like a, I just knew it. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Fortunately, it's not focusing well, but there you go. I knew it was gonna Aww. eat. Oh, she's so cute. And she's just taking the food away now. There you go. Happy little eating tarantula. Yeah. There you go. Awesome. That's so cool. Yeah. Finally, got to see that one eat. So this one didn't eat for quite a while. And it molted, and now we're finally seeing it eat again. Yay. That's great. Okay, so I'll get you back now. Let's scrub in the white knee. The frog? You got your own food mate in your bowl. Alright, time for the pumpkin patch. Yeah, you wanna hold the camera? While I get red runner? Even though some of it might be. Most of it is webbing, actually. Yeah. Most of it is That's right where it is. Yeah. This is the we'll try. The I think it might be at the very top of its height. That was so amazing. Yeah. I'm gonna open this. I don't know where it is. It might be at the top of its height. I don't know. Oh, it's rewobbed it back up again. <laughs> Right, there we go. So if you get above you, you can see how much webbing there is. Right down here. So I think I had to web a lot. And I didn't have to poke a hole through to be able to feed it, so there you go. If you got it, I'll be able to. There you go. Buddy was going to be really lighting. I'm going to shove this through. I'll actually have to make a hole again. Is that really up? Maybe I'll get its food. Alright, I push it down as far as it can go. Well, not really. Alright, unfortunately, because we just got a uh, battery sign warning on the phone, it might lag a bit extra. But as you can see for like the different shadows, the tarantula is out and it's in burrow and it's burrow down right here. Yeah. Hopefully it's getting its food and stuff like that. Maybe we should hope. So yeah, we should hurry this up because <laughs> we got a lot more feedings to do. But there we go. That one's done. See, there's a lot of interruptions on the video. I'm not sure if that's phone wise, internet connection wise, or Facebook, but kind of just how. It that we can do about it, unfortunately. Yep, now the last one is nice sticks. Yeah, well, no, you got Kona here. Actually, no, we said I wasn't going to feed that yeah. one. Yeah, ah, okay. That's so, right. so, the last one we're going to do is the uh, Brazilian Black because um, it's actually getting, uh, the phone is about to die, unfortunately. So, we're going to have to hurry up this and get the food done and done with. 
So she is up there right now. I'm gonna get her some food. I feed all my trenches and spiders red runner legs or red runners themselves. It just went, it just went to disturbing. Oh, she just ate it. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh my goodness, that was so awesome. Yeah. That was amazing. Oh, there's so much reflection, unfortunately. But there you guys go. That was awesome. That was so cool. My goodness. That was, that was probably like the best takedown we had. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was awesome. Because unfortunately, as soon as I put the prey in, she got it and then the phone went trying to connect. Which is so unfortunate. Yeah. But there you guys go. I'm going to give it one more just so you guys can see. But here you go. You want to hold the phone? Just keep it on her. She's enjoying her meal right now. She's even doing a happy dance. She's doing a happy dance. Ah, it's so cool. Unfortunately, you can't see that well, but like she's doing a happy dance. I'm gonna hold the camera real quick while I pick her up. I'm just gonna grab her like this, and then try to see if we can get capture of her without like the lighting effects and stuff. So she's down there, wiggling around. <laughs> Oh, it's so cool though. It's a shame that there's a lot of like lighting effects here. But yeah, she's down there doing a little happy dance. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. So active. So active, yeah. This is this is great. Good damn it. But yeah, thank you guys everyone for so much for joining. This has been an interesting live stream, so we decided to live stream on the page. Because unfortunately, it was the best live stream in the group, so this time we will try to live in the group. So that goes in the chat. So that's basically it for all of it, guys. So thank you for joining us. I'm um, sorry, the live stream was a bit interrupting and stuff like that, but there's nothing we can do about it. It. It's not something that we can fix. It said the internet connection was failing, so that's not something that we can do with, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's been nice having people watch us and watch us feed people, uh, feed people, <laughs> feed the tarantulas and reptiles. And I forgot what the frick it is. What, Vivians? Oh, okay. I, I'm so bad with like this. <laughs> Watching. Um, it's unfortunately getting really dark now, so the lighting effects are really bad. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. It's been amazing. So, if you guys don't want to actually ask, I want to ask, like I said, that everyone is like, you guys are all the time when you get down. Yes, I do. But, what we did when we learned to talk about the community and it's all the people who are in the same.